Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Have you ever noticed how WhatsApp says every message is end to end encrypted? But do you really know what that means? When you send a message on WhatsApp, it says it's protected by end to end encryption. But what does that actually mean for your privacy? We'll find this out in this tutorial. And in today's world, data security is more important than ever. For example, did you know that in 2020, about 37 billion records were exposed in data breaches? Imagine all your private chats, emails, and files being open for anyone to see. Scary, right? That's where end-to-end -end encryption or E2EE comes in. It's a technology that keeps your communication safe from prying eyes. Even big companies like WhatsApp, Signal, and ProtonMail use E2EE to make sure only you and the person you are talking to can read your messages. In this tutorial, we'll dive into what end-to-end -end encryption is, how it works, and why it's so crucial for your privacy. Let's get started and learn how E2EE keeps your digital life secure. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And before we start, guys, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from the prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and mid comment. So let's get started. So let's get started with what is encryption. So encryption is like turning your data into secret code to prevent unauthorized access. So imagine you're sending a postcard with a message to a friend and that message could be, hello, how are you? So anyone who handles the postcard can read what's written on it. Or if you're sending a message through a social media messenger app, that can also be read. But with encryption, this message is transformed into something unreadable, like the secret code that is shown on the screen. So this coded message looks like gibberish to anyone who intercepts it. Only someone with the right key can turn it back into the original message. So think of the key as a special decoder ring. And without this ring, the message remains a jumble of random characters. This ensures that even if someone intercepts your data while it's being sent over the internet, they can't understand it. And encryption, it is used everywhere. In emails, messaging apps, online shopping and banking. To keep your personal information safe from prying eyes. And it's like sending a postcard inside a locked box that only you and your friend can open. So now we'll understand what is end-to-end -end encryption. So end-to-end -end encryption or E2EE that ensures that only the sender and receiver can read the messages. Imagine you are sending a secret note to your friend. You put the note inside a locked box and only you and your friend have the keys to open it. As the note travels from you to your friend, no one else can unlock the box and read it, not even the mailman. With end-to-end -end encryption, your message is encrypted on your device before it's sent. This means it turns into a code that can't be read by anyone else. The encrypted message travels securely over the internet and can only be decrypted by the friend's device, which has the right key to unlock it. Even the service providers, like the company that runs the messaging app, can't access the encrypted data. This way, your communication stays private and secure, just between you and the person you are talking to. So now we'll see how end-to-end -end encryption works. So end-to-end -end encryption uses a system of public and private keys to secure messages. So now we'll see the public key encryption. So this is when you want to send a message and your device uses the receptant's public key to encrypt it. Imagine you have a special lock that anyone can use to lock a box, but only you have the key to unlock it. The public key is like this lock. Anyone can use it to encrypt a message but only the intended recipient can decrypt it with their private key. And then comes the message transmission. The encrypted message is now a jumble of unreadable characters that is sent over the internet. And during transmission, even if someone intercepts the message, they can't read it because they don't have the private key. And now comes the private key decryption. So when the message reaches the recipient, the device uses the private key to decrypt it. The private key is like the unique key that can unlock the box and reveal the original message. This process ensures that your communication stays secure from start to finish. Even the service providers or hackers who intercept the message 
can't read it without the private key. So your message remains private and secure just between you and the recipient. So now we'll see some of the examples of end-to-end -end encryption services. So many popular services use end-to-end -end encryption to secure their communication. For example, messaging apps like WhatsApp and Signal Messenger ensure that only you and the person you are chatting with can read your messages. And email providers like ProtonMail uses end-to-end -end encryption to keep your emails private. And the cloud storage services like Trustroid protect your files from unauthorized access. Now we'll see the benefits of end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption provides enhanced privacy and security by protecting your data from hackers and unauthorized access. Imagine, your communication is intercepted by someone. With end-to-end -end encryption, they can't read your messages because they don't have the decryption key. This level of security ensures that your personal information stays safe and private. Beyond keeping your messages secret, end-to-end -end encryption protects sensitive data like financial information, personal documents, and private photos. For example, when you use WhatsApp to send a bank account number or password, end-to-end -end encryption ensures only the intended recipient can see it. And in a world with increasing cyber threats, end-to-end -end encryption acts as a critical shield, maintaining trust and security in our digital communication. And it's a powerful tool that gives you control over your privacy in an ever-connected world. Now we'll see the challenges in implementing end-to-end -end encryption. So implementing end-to-end -end encryption comes with several challenges. It involves technical complexities that require robust cryptographic algorithms and secure key management. Additionally, end-to-end -end encryption can impact the performance of services as encrypting and decrypting data requires extra processing power. So service providers need to balance strong security measures with a smooth user experience. And now we'll have a look on the limitations of end-to-end -end encryption. So while end-to-end -end encryption protects the content of your messages, it doesn't protect metadata, such as who you are communicating with, the time of communication, and the frequency of messages. This information can still be accessible to service providers and potentially to malicious actors. Additionally, there are legal and regulatory considerations as some governments and agencies seek access to encrypted communications for security purposes. So it's important to be aware of these limitations when relying on end-to-end -end encryption for privacy. So with that, guys, we have come to the end of this session. If you like this session, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any doubts, you can comment down in the comment section below. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.